Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Space Shipbreaker. Take a look at our messages Clear here. Blood? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process, and soon enough I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. All right, let's start a new shift and pick your first ship to work on. Look through these structure modes pre installed. I'm only going to read them if they're like really important looking. Thing important and good with this world comes with a price. Salvage goals. Proud to introduce all new salvage goal system. But see the salvage process. These will make provide goodies to our valued shipbreakers. Highly rewarding. Foreman Evening Cutter, you're doing a great job with on Barney so far. Really impressed with your skills. I'm clearing you for some proper ships. Mackerel class, light cargo, and station hoppers. Mackerels are the most common ship among the colonies. They come in all sorts of models. The ones we get were decommissioned since they can't ride the rail anymore. Rail gate strength got used a couple of years back, and these babies can't handle it. The light cargo model is usually used to haul civilian cargo around, so expect some weird stuff floating around in there. Now, the station hoppers, those will give me a bit of nostalgia. They were people movers. Sometimes they'll crack into one that still has proper power. And see old ads playing on the terminals, you know, got a crack in your mask, got a tear in your suit, buy Link's branded gear for your hard-earned loot. Might start to see fire hazards show up, I'll help you when you get there, that'll be fun. Start shift. Link's onboarding, last owner, Link's Corporation, salvage. This is the catalog that shows you which ships you have access to from the shipyard. Every day, you can choose to continue working on the ship you've got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and pick one, anyone, and we'll get to work. Is there a difference between picking these? Like, why is this one Expedient Express, the Western Europa? Let's see what they're made of down in the bottom right. I think we want one of these, too, maybe? I don't know. Now this one has a little bit more whatever this is, which is probably a little bit more rare than that first resource. But these ones are worth more. This one's smaller though. I'm curious about this one since it's different. Claim ship, claim a new ship will kill you a salvage bay if you're all sure. I think we might be on a timer now. Maybe not, maybe not for this first thing, but let's see. No. She's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage okay. the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We've left. Okay. So, we're on our own, but we don't have a timer for the first part here. We want... Oops. I have to realize I don't need to click on that. I think we want to just cut out, like, a big square chunk here. I feel like my resolution isn't quite right. Hold on. It's not right. I'm dumb. We gotta keep going. <laughs> One second. I am dumb. It was literally like the very last option was exactly what we need. Save changes. Save, please. There we go. Now things should be a little let, less uh, disorienting. Uh, maybe we just go in through the side here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Kind of surprised it uh, set us loose this quick. I thought there was like a little bit more to the tutorial than that. So what we got to do is cuts. We do need the cutter, but we need the other mode, I think. 
Yeah, you're suppressing the shift key here. I keep uh, making myself drift around. Don't know if we have a limited amount of batteries or anything. It might all be disabled until later. Who knows? So yeah, this is where it kind of becomes a Sarah cleanup detail, where it's just kind of like, uh, just about cutting things. So anyway, I started cutting. Now I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first, but trust me, soon enough you'll be stripped in the huge gecko class freighters like they're nothing. Got my start salvaging back down to Earth side in the droid scrapping business. You know what made me come up here? Well, one day we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They were always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI man took effect. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tiny profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things look exactly like my stepmother did. Even had the same slack jawed expression. Now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing. All the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Link. Tell you what. It's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. Anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. Weave her out. You're just all nanocarbon. I'll take it. Grappler. That panel said something expressed. Oh, yeah, it was the object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Okay, keep it moving. Let's get ourselves oriented so we don't puke. Probably gonna puke anyway. Okay, we have the cutter. No, we don't have the cutter. Cutter. I thought there was like one more piece of the uh, training video. Where they tell you a little bit more about like actually cutting ships apart. As opposed to just like free floating panels like it did in the tutorial we got there, but. We have to cut off for these panels to be freed. I'll get my head on the walls. Oh, what that thing in the back is. Okay, I'm out. Stop rotating. Another one. 
Seems like the bomb's a little easier than everything else. Okay. I wish we could cut the... It does say what the cut level is. It's cut level three. Maybe we can just blast that? Oh, I thought maybe getting higher heat would do it. Switch to this. the race, at least until we have oxygen needs. I wonder if that second piece might have been aluminum, because... Oh, it kept highlighting that, so... Maybe still a tad bit loud. Do you like having a little bit of music? top of this right i know later like there starts being like electronic parts attached on the outside space so there should be no air slowing things down but i'm still gonna give it another bump just to be sure it gets in there all right hop back in such a junk in here i wonder if there is a little bit of value on this dirt unfortunately am i really gonna go through all the work of getting everything all these little pieces Possibly. Is this segment free? It is, it is. Maybe not. Okay, it is free. There's a difference between titanium and nanocarbon here though, so let's see. Cutter. Okay. Traveler. Tritanium. 
Titanium. This says it goes in here. It's, it's aluminum that goes in the furnace, right? Not titanium. Seems like that was right. A piece got lost, though. Or did it all come off in one chunk? There is whatever this is. It's a little bit of titanium. Swoosh. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. I feel like there's one more chunk, but I don't see it anywhere. So, I'm going to assume that it's fine. Cutter. Oops. There he is, blasting. Oh, got a little too hot. We're gonna have like a big separation here soon. Maybe not. Attached, right? Titanium. Still getting used to the controls here. Bear with me. Sweet. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Bonk. side came off for sure. Is the whole thing nanocarbon? Yes, I don't see any aluminum. However, it's a gigantic chunkus. I don't know if our grappling arm has the strength to push the whole thing. It, maybe it does, though. We should at least try. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Make sure it gets there. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Looks like this piece in here is about to pop off too. Looks like it's all nanocarbon. I shouldn't have to cut off other chunguses. This segment is apparently much heavier. Still send it though. Just just a little determination. Valuable 
Valuable objects processed. Credits awarded. satisfying when you get these huge pieces cut off. <laughs> that piece did slow down. So there is like some air resistance where there probably shouldn't be. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Screen started to Shaking stuff once I started uh, sending that in. Oh, the cockpit's falling off, but I bet. Salvage but, gains observed. Bet the cockpit might have something special in it, though, so let's take a look inside carefully first. Oh, yeah, it does have some furnace parts in here. Full glass. This glass needs to be cut out separately. So, switch to cutter. Should we could like shorten the shape of this cutter? of the beam cutting does not add up to where where it actually ends up cutting which is kind of kind of disorienting that didn't cut it out a little strange work on it from the outside. Blech. <laughs> I'm like getting all twisted up. I think I need to do less mouse driving. That looks disconnected to me, doesn't it? I guess it's up top maybe. Didn't get pulled. Stop moving. slow down because I know you have some pieces I need to cut on you. So it's just these side panels are aluminum. This back panel is aluminum. Okay. Kind of see where it's separated there. Ooh, that's not the same as in there. It's like a secondary ceiling. What I would say to do is we want to cut it on like this line up here. Cutter. 
Sun is very bright. cut from the outside. Maybe you can't cut nanocarbon. Uh, okay, we can only cut aluminum. You. This panel pop off? The other one did. No. Oh my, the other one popped off. vertical up and down controls rather than mousing around. Here should also be aluminum. Cutter. skin the whole fish this time because I think our next ship we cut we're gonna have oxygen and a limited amount of time to work in the day some random aluminum panel here I don't even remember cutting that but there you go. let's see this back Back panel is aluminum. Let's see, maybe we can cut it on the sides here. I'm realizing these videos are going to go long, which is not good because it has the binding of Isaac issue where I won't be able to finish a ship in one turn. So oh, that didn't work. If 
I have to make this our stream game and then I have to figure out what the heck I was going to play on stream. Yeah, my way, bro. back to the cutter and yeah, may have to make this a screen game except the problem is I think my stream game idea was the binding of Isaac which can't take up the slot either so <laughs> hmm leaves me in a bit of a conundrum doesn't it at the same time these are all games I want to play. So I can't, like, not play them? I could, like, not stream them, of course. Not record them. Can't believe this one's not cut off here. I mean... Please, game. Just... Yeah. Held on by nothing, apparently. Nah. There it goes. Not much left of it now. Cut this out, man. Cutter. Rotate. Hmm. To let's play or to stream. So let's play or to stream. I suppose we can stream it. play or stream it's the battle tech game i started playing it i re started recording an episode we had it even like modded and stuff but and raising i don't kind of don't think i like that game <laughs> the rng is just a little bit too high and though that's like how the original game is the board game but You know, it gives you like a lance of four mechs at the start that are well equipped and stuff. And maxed armor and stuff. And then the enemies are just light mechs that have very weak armor. And it seemed like every time I'd shoot them, my characters would all miss. And then every time they'd shoot me, they would all hit. So they would actually do... It could still be possible to win, but I'd just lose so much HP and stuff that... <laughs> It was just not fun. I was just like, um, I kind of don't like RNG. Not for like mischance and stuff. We 
think RNG loot is not bad. RNG mischance? Ooh. It's pretty bad. I am realizing once we're in the main part of this game, like after just basically just the next vehicle, I think, we will have the limited time to cut ships up. And that might make this a little bit more appropriate for let's playing. But I don't know where trees. Okay, I think this is now mostly... Mostly nanocarbon. It's a big old, big old honking part. Trying to get in position so I can like push it a little bit. Send it. Entire cockpit. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Big old chungus. And you're all nanocarbon as well. Send it. Ooh, oh, part of the uh, globe are we over right now? It said Earth was in rough shape, so. I mean, that looks like North America up there. Looks like we have extreme, extreme polar ice cap melt, and those coastlines have been consumed, and then also it looks like most of the greenery is dead. Nearly done. Mainly that cockpit was slowing us down. We're going the wrong way, brother. We gotta go this way. I wonder if like a joystick might help with this game. That'd be very weird, but I know what I gotta do is just not use not use mouse aiming as much. Which I just said earlier, but I wasn't wrong earlier. I just didn't listen to myself. So I'm realizing I can hold shift to like I know I could press shift to like stop my rotation, I didn't realize I could also just hold shift to uh Stay in one spot. Already breaking my own rules. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. If there's maybe more stuff inside of this one that we should check for. Oh. There's something about this back panel. Like, what are you? Oh, you can be cut off. Or 
Mr. Cat. I know at some point there becomes like fragile stuff that you have to be very careful with. This might be one of it. That might be what these icons represent. Or maybe it's just representing this like advanced technology. Processing valuable objects. Hey, level this three. Oops, that's not going to work out so well. Come to me. Just furnace material now, huh? A little bit of aluminum. We have a few. Is that cutting beam surfaces here? Or no, those are structural supports. And this is mostly just furnace, so I just think. Oops. Sorry, the button for. move but I can't. Um, can I just cut these middle sections? Yes, I know this episode absurdly long. That's why we're having the discussion about what we should do <laughs> for a series of this. Over. What else have you? is it pushable? It is. Too close to that thing, I guess. There we go. You really can't get close to that at all, huh? Might want to cut this one in half just so it's a little bit less dangerous and easier to move. <laughs> Am I going to move all these little tiny pieces? Uh, I don't think so. Unless something shows up as being, like, highly valuable, I would say no. Okay. Cutter.
send it. All right. Well, that's the ship. We we uh, used every part of the animal, so to speak. Scanner isn't showing us anything in this debris. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Not sure any of it is even worth our time. It's not even letting me target most of this stuff. Okay, yeah, this is just total junk, I believe. I don't think we're going to mess with it. We'll call that an episode. <laughs> I know it was extremely long. I do apologize, but we had to figure out one way or the other. At least now we know that we have to play this one on stream. <laughs> I still have to figure out what we're going to play for the rest of the week now, though, because... Two of the games I was going to play are now bust. I think this display becomes usable at some point. That's where we have to like get our oxygen and stuff. Hmm. So we do have some losses. It's like 268 kilograms of nanocarbon and 244 kilograms of aluminum went to the wrong place, basically. Is what I'm assuming that means. New certification level awarded. License upgraded. Ship level two. One LT, one LT, one repair kit, three LT. Credits, total MP earned. Okay. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. Alright, we'll do that in the stream, which will be tomorrow, actually, which will be Monday uh, the 24th, so it'll probably be too late by the time this episode comes out, to be honest with you, because this will probably be out on Tuesday. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. But until next time, hope you have a good day.